Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis guys! Oh, the junk. They will start very quick indeed. But the flash... Oh, how did they not get a kill from that Imperial? So much opportunity that has come and gone. But maybe, maybe they can follow up on the damage. The bomb is being planted reasonably fast. Retake territory now for the remainder of Imperial. Two of the three players are with Kevlar, but I'm sure it goes down to the headshots as per usual. Waiting for these smokes to go. This feels like forever. Even with a kit, it's so annoying. Fallen's only got 16 bullets left. And here comes the burst of CTs now. These T's are in the red, and Bolts will deliver three very quickly indeed. But they have to go even faster for the rest of them. That's his fourth of the round. Bolts looking for the ace now with Story behind the sandbags. Unable to stop. Just takes one in the face immediately. And with that headshot, Fallen must come off the bomb. Which means, despite Bolts' best efforts, Saw will take the pistol. They ran a fair few B plays against Maus yesterday. So hopefully Imperial are ready for this. That's a lot of information for Bolts immediately. Puts down the molly to the side. That's given Vinny some space with the smoke, actually. Trying to... Oh, he's distracted by the spray. Awkward timing for him. And it's Imperial are being dismantled now. Only two remaining. New jokes has got one HP. Part of me hopes he gets killed by a flashbang just for the memes, but apart from that, this one looks good for Saw. Clean sheet absolutely remaining, but we know that the AWP is soon around the corner. Next round won't be ideal for Imperial. Still looking to find their feet here on Overpass. Overpass, Vertigo. Overpass is the next map. That's wishful thinking for you, James, isn't it? I you just wish love it Overpass. Was Overpass. Yeah. You just love it. Getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> Oh man, Cello even gets caught in the back. Look at Saw hunting aggressively. Showing us some confidence here. They're not scared of Fallen. Maybe they should be though, because he's getting a couple of exit kills. Ooh, lovely turnaround. Fallen showing off some spray on the rifle. No one there for Saw right now though. Ramp. Oh man, Yotta lines up that spray through the smoke. And now this fight is looking better for Imperial. I didn't expect Cello to be so close by with the MP9. So two early frags. This is the first round where Saw have to try and recover from a deficit. Yeah, Imperial needs to control the narrative on that ramp. They need to be in charge there. Oh, Cello has his gun out as Fallen deploys the support grenade. Imperial need to survive this round with the numbers up as well. They'll lose their first play. That HE will force Cello to swing. Big headshot from him. Story will concede his position with sound cues. They know exactly where he is. Vinny's here as well. Four players surviving. 8K to be collected. And surely this... Fallen again favoring mid with the AWP. Battle sniper mode. His rifle support taken away. But land the first one though. Bolts is straight back to drop you jerks. Things are looking good again. Now the question is, how do you deal with adversity, Saw? We found an entry elsewhere. Jota avoiding the flashes, making things even worse. But Vinny has been dropped towards B and just has found some opportunity. He is not carrying the bomb. That HE was the perfect distraction. He sees half the info fallen. There's the rest of it. This is the jump bolt, but he is position unknown, waiting for Story to reposition, and he is indeed on the way. Oh, he hasn't seen his head, though. But the timing will work out for bolts. The patience pays off. Very awkward for Fallen. He has some support here, though, but for how long? Jota goes down. Three on four. Really going battle sniper mode, as Fallen often does. Need some individual creativity to turn this one around. The sound cues will tell him at least one of these final players is still here. Story trying to go lightning fast now, but Fallen's ready for it. Bolts on the other side, they'll stick together. Just in the clutch now. Damage is a plus as well. So much time on the clock as well. 
try and avoid fall, and that's one way to do it. Dropping off the ramp to try and reset the situation. He's got two more to go. Needs to avoid the trade fragger if he can. Spots Finney, but gets swatted by him for a third. The change continues. Maybe they've burned their utility relatively early. Saw making good inroads towards a ramp as well. Or are they fallen? Says hello. It's going to be hard to get him off this angle. And may, may be very expensive as well. That's one way to do it though. Some pre-fire also. And he realises that he needs to stay alive. Maybe press a different direction. They don't know where he is just yet. And now they do. And it's caught being very expensive anyway. It's not an easy angle to orp into. But Fallen makes it look easy with the patience on those jiggle peaks. Uteris has made it to sandbags, but how does Saw make them move onto the bomb site? They don't have the names, they don't have the players anymore. Muteris, the last man left. They get the bomb down, but a 1v3 is so tricky, especially with players on all different angles. Fallen's wrapped all the way behind him. Looking for the initial duel. It won't go his way. Bolts secures seven. In mid, four players coming their way. Tyrus is here as well. This, pistol yesterday. this looks like a hard read from them, maybe, for this situation. And they've walked straight into a trap. A fly in the spider's web. Absolutely wrecked Imperial. Well, that went about as well as it could have. Losing a single player. Then he lands the dick. But they will be running him down eventually here. Just feeling it with those duallys. Promising start then. So close for Vinny, but he continues to have a rough time around that B bomb site on the T side as well as the CT side. Bolts will eventually get there, but at what cost? 8 HP for him. Got to be careful as he falls back, trying to avoid the grenades or mollies maybe. There are some mollies to come for this sore side, certainly. One minute on the clock, a lot of time. Who smoke is that up yeah. there? <laughs> Come on, own up. Oh, I assume it's gone from uh, bad to worse. I assume it's an Imperial smoke. And it has not gone their way in this There's round. There's a default Molotov as well. The tire is still hiding. He can play for story. There's a Molly for him as well. He'll smoke himself off. 20 seconds now as he tries to hide in plain sight. They have to deal with him. But he is hiding. Trades will continue. 1v2 now with 10 seconds. Trying to make space for himself, not realizing. He's taking he the correct in. angles. He goes beyond you, Tyrus, but you jerks is ready. That's the bomb. A hard swing, but they keep the trades in their favor, Imperial, in this three on three. Roman's in a good spot for now, but once that smoke goes, he's going to be in a very awkward situation. See T's creeping around as well. This is going to be a crucial moment now as he spots Finney to the right-hand side, trying to back off. No one can respond to that. That changes things. Need the site control. He might now look for info, but Yotta arrives from above. Bolt is planting on the other side of the site here. So that means they can't really play that bomb from back towards ramp. That could be awkward now in the post plan. Yeah, it's going to be confusing for Sora, especially with the angles they're coming from, like... Why would they do that? They've got a smoke up as well. They can just go for it, surely. Oh, and they can get the frag as well. Saw so util around the ramp. They're going to go for a retake, maybe? It looks like Roman threatening, but he's losing some crucial angles now. Ujokes is here as well, but they won't lose the jewels. Trade did, but 4v3. They'll take that. Really makes things harder for Imperial. These AKs will rely on some individual brilliance to be bring things back into their favor now. Finney wonders what could be on the other side of this smoke and that'll limit Fallen as well as they want to work together. So indeed, we did see that utility dump from Saw and Groove. Very, very good indeed, but Story has been dropped at close, close range by Fallen then. 55 seconds on the clock. He's not carrying the bomb. That opens up the world of possibilities between A and B. And you can see Saw forced to spread out once again to see what the climate is around the map. No molly for this position. So Roman can tuck in for a long, long time. Oh, there is a molly now. They found one, and Roman will go down because of it. Guterres is in position, but he couldn't help his teammate on the initial hold. He was too far back. 
He's hoping for a line up through the smoke here, or maybe to peer above it. Bomb dropped. Someone's got to go get that here. And those smokes start to fade somewhat shortly. Still no bomb plant, and Muterus might go through. Oh, they go through together. Beautifully done by Saw, even though they are... Then there were three. Ouch. Look at that peak. That's a horrible sandwich for Fallen. Yota leaving Vinny then in the one versus five with no bomb. I think the end of Vertigo will be a relief for Imperial. This was not their map to win, it seems. They'll have to do it in three. Vinny has 30 seconds to find a bomb plant. Story will surely put him out of his misery soon. 16 to 7 then. Start. Put a position them for the rushes. The bomb's here as well. This could go really wrong, but Yota's got his angles. Bomb is dropper. Look at that flying Yota get another one. Not over yet though. Story has much to do if they enter his domain. Plenty of sound cues. That's another situation towards long, but while he looks towards that, sounds are being made. Now, they could have gone past him. He doesn't know. New Jerks may be stuck around the A bomb site for the time being. A story clears the outside. On the way towards B, they go four versus three. Yota's picked up a USP. Moving in for the split now. Just doesn't see anything just yet. But now he certainly will. Nothing doing with the jewel. Easy jerks down to 4 HP. Now zero. The angle. And so even though he survived for a little while, it wasn't long enough for the rotate to arrive. He was playing a bit further back. Go through the motions. There's always those boosts available. Cheeky little plays for the CTs to rock with. I think it's so nice to run that on the first gun round here. Get that early advantage. Try and get your first round on the board. 5v4 looks good, but just is taking some damage there. The smoke timing nice, but the flash could be better. But Muterus strikes into the back. That bomb has dropped onto the site. I think Muterus might just play safe here, but he's got a flash for himself. Ox is still looking to isolate that angle, but the bomb has been planted. No kit either on the back of Saw right now. That's a nice shot from Bolts. This is still very doable from Imperial, but Fall has been trapped on the bomb site. Dink down low. Story, pistol out. The USP won't get it done. And they may actually go through the smoke. You see Bolts there has been spotted. Just oh, actually able to get one kill. And a second, the bomb plant denied. Finally, Cello fights back. But we could have a bit of excitement in this round. Muteris has another frag found. Yota's still nowhere near the action, but he'll cut off the rotate and brown her, if you will. Got to play their card very carefully indeed, but the trades will favor Imperial, the clean sheet. Rem oh, the bomb carrier Vinny at the back. Roman thwarting the timing, disappearing just as they come in from the other side of Monster, a sandwich, and the world collapses. Of and that is a lush round from Saw. Being lined up, counter grenades here from Saw. Trying to cut that site in half, but U Jerks has to be so careful. Cello swinging, great headshot, good trade. Important trade from Vinny, justice here. Look how Vinny is swinging round the back of the site as well. Somehow still alive, fallen to finish off that job. 2v3 remains as Roman's on the flank once again. Now, will they have the presence of mind to look for him? He's got it so quick. Story firing off some shots, showing some presence for him. Starts to look, but takes too many bullets immediately. Now Imperial have the information, I believe, as to roughly where these two players are. Roman's in the clutch now. Bolt's coming in from the back, being checked for by Roman. But for a brief moment, doesn't see him though. But Vinny He's will a, see and Roman play for three maps. They want to do it in two if they can, and that is a promising start. The shadow reveals the position. The support may come just in time. Surely, Ujek's able to trade. Point of no return, though, pulls out the pistol, but it's too late. But this is still chaotic for Imperial to deal with. Many question marks on the remaining three players. We can see Mutaris in that short spot. Fallen moving forward alone with the bomb, and that will compound the problems here.
for a moment at least. Vinny able to trade, but the... Back to his advantage. Not making noise. They do not have a clue. First player down and the second. Roman you might just hear those nades being dropped or a little sound cue and Roman's got the big flank. They've got no idea. Oh God, that's the bomb carrier as well. He can line up behind him and try and get two. Oh, and he'll fight to face them, but he still gets two from it. They're looking away from the flank, but they're like, hold on a second, who's that? I think a bomb plant is doable right here. You can see Bolt's clearing it out. Bomb plant will be committed to, but just has got that frag, Cello. Taking damage, he's dropped down. They've dropped on his head with the knife. Some map control for Sorp in towards B short. It's somewhat susceptible to being flanked from connector, but they're just going to make the move themselves. How do they take these angles? It's awkward to play both sides. You jerks able to get one. Hector is trying to trade off the back of it, but now they're going to run him down from all possible sides. Imperial peek him from three separate angles. The rotate is here for Saw, though. They've got both players in position now. See if they stay left off the pillar from the T perspective. Oh, well, the opportunity is still here. Ooh. And just like that, it... Imperial must be afraid of where Matyrus might be playing with the action, the antics we've seen from him recently. And again, another push around that monster position. Bolts will be traded as well. Now, what do you do if you're fallen? You're around the corner in T-spawn with the bomb alone. But he's still pushing oh, no. forward to try and do what? something just just finds himself in short B story. Knows that Vinny is here as well in the red. This is absolute chaos. Oh, Muteris drops in time. That molly helps him out. Fallen's wrapped so far to the left. I don't think Muteris is ready. Oh, he's going to swing on to short, but surely traded by Fallen. And now Roman has it all to do. Smoke obscures his vision. So it could be spotted, but oh, Roman drops down. Headshot confirmed. Yotta with the big reposition secures the half in favor of Imperial. Bomb getting planted, it seems. Bomb has been planted. Things become awkward then. Cello's position will be very, very important, but Bolts has been lost as he gets closer to Oi. the site, delivers the kill as Fallen gets one as well. They have a smoke to try and. Take some of these angles away at the very least. Ooh. That was one I had to find. Cello finally being taken down. Fallen creeping around the smoke. They don't have a kit to go with that smoke grenade. They've got to find that kill and they will. Nine. There's a lot of useful here with Vinny. Banking on that kill coming through from Josa. But the push comes in from Shaw. No one's really ready to deal with it. Or are they? Vinny has put himself into a great position with three kills after all. Leaving Story with a scout. Hasn't even switched out for a rifle. A semi-automatic, rather. Going with the bolt action instead. Finally switching to a Galil at the very least. Here's one in the water. Is it a distraction, though? Where are the remaining two? That's the question for Story. Here's more in the water. And he won't hear anything else for this Point round. They've got one incendiary. It's a big flash, but Mutiris doesn't fire. Importantly... It's another one, though. And down he goes, Yota. Hops out of there. He's happy with that. Things are awkward now, especially with the door blown off. Connector needs to be cleared. We've got two CTs here, and they're getting all the frags. Sora being shut down. Start to wonder if their best opportunities are behind them now. In this half, maybe. Will be first contact. If he wins the first fight, it should be all over. Roman has to deliver, but that's a nice off angle from Fallen. Out in the open, really hard to pre-aim that position. Just has 12 health and he doesn't have no connector. Actually, he's going to be losing the shallow early, and that is a nice switch up. Saw not expecting it. Oh, you jerks. Oh, he gets wall banged. That's wild from Vinny. I didn't even know you could wall bang like that, but he gets him through, gets two in the connector, and Saw don't even have a chance to set up this round. Oh, man, Roman. Needs to win this fight. He simply has to. And Vinny is standing strong. Vinny again. Not Vinny again. Oh, not a knife. Not a knife, Vinny. You sly dog. They had to get the so knife looking back. At long right now. Just heard some steps. But I think they are now looking back into his position. 
Elsewhere, Bolts is pretty isolated in Connector. Not be an easy position to get out of, but he turns it into a double kill. Now that long player is starting to activate. He's not going to spot anyone in the back. The fact that Bolts gets away alive with two kills from Connector, just so impressive there. Yo, it's just being so patient here. And it might pay off for him because there's no way Story looks behind him, making loads of sound as well. I think he is, but just as the smoke goes, he's conceded a position now. And I was going to say things get awkward, but it's the bomb that's by the pillar. So many more targets in 10 seconds. Mataris does not want to die off the time, and he won't. Game point for Imperial. Oh, he has no idea. He's screwed. Bye bye. And now, surely a bomb plant. So much money for Imperial. If they were to lose everything in this round, they would be fine. They're so close to the site as well. We can see just lurking in short B, but I don't know that they're going to be saving anytime soon. Unbeknownst to them, Saul we will, will be expecting them to go for this because they know that they're not running away. So they're trying to play the late game in Emerge here, but Saul aren't going anywhere just yet, but they're still not winning the duels either. And now the urgency rises as Just is the only man. They haven't won a single duel on this retake sword. Just being distracted now as the round is robbed by Imperial. What? Got them bouncing their way over to the ramp now, Imperial. But will they be headed towards B or will they be headed towards heaven, perhaps? We can see Story on the outside and now things are getting awkward for Fallen carrying the bomb. Look at just fire off those shots. 2v3. Make it 3v1 then because Vinny will be alone. He did so much work on that B bomb site on overpass and he's got much work to do here. He needs to rescue the bomber as well. And being exposed in the ramp, that's going to be so difficult. You can see Story jiggling, Matyris headshotting. Story again with the scout spotting players making their way towards B. And just is waiting. He's got 19 HP, but he has the correct angle, or does he? Talk about saving the day. Ooh. Maybe there's still a day to be saved because Butyrus is found too immediately. He lined up for him there. Now Fallen sat back towards double doors. What a shot from Fallen. That puts them into a good position. His teammate also fighting. All headshots delivered in the that two on three. Just has got an awful situation on the way now with Vinny just waiting for him. Off the side of the hut, he goes, and they just don't have the equipment to deal with Vinny. These ranges are not favorable versus Vinny with an AK-47. Jux has got into an awkward position on the site. He could line up a couple, but he needs to do so much more. Even the 2K, not really nice. enough. Story run down at the... Tyrus. Try and see if he can get a nice angle. I don't think he'll stray too far, though, especially with the Famas. There's also no real support for him on guard. Oh, he goes up. Good time for the first. Dink onto both players. But look oh at the response days. from Imperial. It's still on a knife edge, though. Story and Ujax have got work to do. 2v3, surely they try and do something. It's an eco either way. They're so tagged. We're like getting into very dangerous positions. But he... Oh, God. <laughs> Finney's found both of them. He's found two. That pulls Matyris away from Secret as well. Imperial, they're so bunched together. Look at the trade fragging opportunities they have as they approach whatever site they want to now. I don't see how Saw can possibly come back from this. Maybe time is the only way. 25 seconds. Muteris will have to go massive. They're spread apart, but Yota wins the fight anyway. Takes the dink, replies with the AK headshot. Says, I've got the better gun. Sorry, not sorry. Saw surely out of this round at this point. A lot of sound cues for you, Jerks. He will need to deliver here. Avoiding the flash. But not getting the frag. Roman's on the low ground as well. Mutaris isn't too far behind, but he... Doesn't have the angle as Jota comes back to see what's up and almost threatens to go back again, but just made a, quite a few steps there. That didn't quite work out for him. Jota's going back again. 
Yeah, the T's have so much control here. I mean, you see Bolts with that bomb, but he's got to get it to a bomb site here. Story is holding heaven. That's where the bomb is positioned right now. The head spotted. That is not an easy shot to hit, and Story has to tuck back. But it's Roman who could be in trouble. Down to six health. Story here alongside him. Shot landed. Bomb will finally go down, and Cello up on the site. Hits the first. Reposition unexpected. Cello once more. He's out of ammo. It has to be the Glock. No scope landed. But it's Bolts who has the chance. He's stuck on the site. Story still with the AWP in play. Bolts on that AK. Looking both ways here, but Story will start to close the gap. Time against him. Orp still in hand here. He's going for it, but Bolts hits the, the spray. The Famas, the AWP will be here though. Mutyrus taking the fight to the squad. Looking for Vinny, finding Yota, and Bolts will pick up the slack. Everything changing now. Fallen holds the angle, bomb plant. His story can stay there if he wants, but he won't win the round. Two versus four for Saw. The timing for forward an unbelievable five second mark two up towards a two down towards b bolts looking to creep in not a favorable duel for him though now surely they try and go for kills here imperial then he's got 15k and he needs to just frag as many as the four players as they can doesn't matter if they die after time story makes his way over they have one smoke, which could be for a desperation plant at this point, Imperial. And I think maybe the pace is slowed down a bit too much for them here, where they will be sitting ducks, gifting another round to Saw. So it will be far out, not once, but twice. Double stack into ramp. Oh, Cello tried to transfer, but didn't take down either of those two players. So Saw might have the best chance to win this pistol that they needed. Five on two, thanks to that kill. Ooh. Bolt's able to get one back, but the Saw player's looking so much sharper here on this pistol. Just Vinny remaining. One being planted on that far side, so no chance to deny. That means he needs to pull off something special to win this pistol. He's just being careful. Looks like he wanted to hunt there, but... Vinny was the problem in the first. Are they being sold a fake on A while the bomb heads elsewhere? You can see Bolts is super focused. Will they be rapping in to main? No, they're headed downstairs, but there are three, two players here waiting for Imperial. They spotted the bomb as well. But Tyrus has such an awkward fight as Joseph tries to escape the Molotov. He's seen two though, and suddenly things are awkward for Sword. What is the decision making like at this point in the round? Vinny is still alive. Cello trying to defend B. He'll be hurt for take things back. That's a big frag for Roman though. Especially when it's Vinny. Bomb planted up top it seems. And Fallen will try and be the first responder. But only a dink lands onto Roman. Two players low. Cello might be Fallen's aware. out of there. Completely rotated the position of that orb. So will struggle to respond to this immediately, but Vinny might be in a tough spot. No one covering him, but it's fallen again in the middle of the site. Now Bolts with the Deagle. You can see the patience there. He was trying to get as much from that as he could. The AWP was so committed to that bomb site that now Jota is alone. One versus three. Free information for Imperial. Then Bolts can try to punish that. Very unlucky for Matyrus. That could have been dramatically different. Great flashbang and Fallen is here. That man is a cannon on wheels. Oh man, he Fallen. The story. Flash early just again. Some early map control being contested by Saw. It's Bolts Ooh. who goes down early. He gets one back from beyond the grave, but Vinny could be isolated. The rotates here, just able to spray onto one. Shallow peaks from heaven, but Story keeps his teammates safe. Another fast play from Saw and Fallen up on the ladder. He must have seen that first man, but he's not ready for oh, just. Rather than the York, this might work out for her, actually. It can be a little awkward sometimes, but the AK from Roman will be traded at least. Bowles dropping the bomb now. Has he done enough? That multi frag, so important. Three and four. Fallen still alive after the damage he took earlier on. Ujerx going into main. The retake is on, but for how long? We can see heaven. 
Paul and has the presence there. Joseph goes wide to spot you, Jerks. Not too close. That is a really smart peek from him. Just in the clutch now. But that smoke is up. Fallen still alive. I thought you'd die on that drop. 4 HP. Must know his number. Fascinated again from Saw into the A site. Flash is coming. Vinny this time stepping up. Jotter alongside him. Roman trying to trade, but it might not be enough. That bomb has dropped pretty far away. They've got to get some kills back, but they're not going to be able to do so. This time, Imperial stops Saw in their tracks. Be looking here right now. Vinny in the hut itself, but he's not ready for the pace of just. Look at all those kills in the kill. Hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> if he had saved his teammate there, who knows? But see you jerks throwing all the presents, but he's got a little bit too far and bolts will drop into the hands of Roman. So maybe it works out anyway. We've got Vinny in the back of the site, but Roman coming to life. Oh no. The Look bomb. how things have turned around though. How has this happened? Story what? now. He's got 14 seconds. Gun mode now, maybe for both snipers. Paul and moving over with the pistol. Right, it might be gaps, but again, it's a fast moving round. Committing the AK, looking for that transfer. And look at the chaos. The chaos of those Mac 10s flying through. Unbelievable. Look what this means to Imperial. They've got nothing to fight. I heard a single footstep he made. Oh, he's going to get Matira straight away as well. He knows there's at least two of the players outside. Fallen on the hunt while those smokes drop, but those smokes will soon be gone. And surely, story is done for. Advantage is slipping away for Saw now, as they are low on the numbers. They still have the AKs. But just needs to find something outside here. Vinny's creeping with the MP9 as well. And there's Bolt before Vinny even reveals himself. Roman and Just remain. Oh, that's free. Scope heard. Headshot delivered. Just trying to reposition quickly, but Cello definitely wise to his position. Roman spread from his teammate. I don't even have the bomb right now. 40 seconds. They're just trying to find fights right now, but the bomb will have to be recovered shortly. Roman still down on B. Oh, and they're finding fights. They're finding the fights they need. They're going to get that bomb back. They've got both kills. And Shello has to be the hero for Imperial. Where's that bomb going? Surely down to B. It will. And Shello will have to try and respond. If he had the orb, he could go for a hero wall bang. But that won't be happening. Sees two targets, shoots in the middle, and that means overtime. That is quite a wild situation we overtime just saw there. Maybe run more fast plays. All reset now. But here come the CTs. Matyrus trying to do what he can, but he's lost the bot. Down the vent it goes. Story looking for some war bangs. New Jerks finds himself in a one versus two. This game of Nuke is crazy. How's the bomb end up down vents? Oh, it doesn't matter because Jot has got the flank. Number of bogeys down towards B. Can fall and stop the ball out in the open. He almost had the lineup that doesn't land the shot onto either of them. Jello able to react, but you Jerks coming to life here in overtime. Quick double kill for him. He has been fallen. He has been dropped on the site itself. But the bomb down in a 2v3, it's doable for Saw. They've got the money to go for this Imperial. Another slow approach. They've all got kits, but they need to start getting their skates on here. So bomb's not going to tick so forever. Well, there's one spotted. Now they can try and charge onto the side, but no one's checking just position, and that's surely the round secured. Indeed, it will be one to lose a bomb site quickly. Oh, and that's a nice angle. Flick to the back. Sendieri down, and he'll stop them from pushing him quickly. Oh, and they hear the steps towards ramp easily. Second orb unexpected. Shello able to drop back. It looks brilliant for Imperial, winning all the early fights.
Uterus is too far away from the action. His teammate with the bomb probably can't come and help him. And it is clinical from Imperial. Every single fight being won. Story needs a miracle at this point. And it's not coming for him. 30 seconds on the clock. It's going to be another explosive push here. There's Matires. Tries to withdraw somewhat, play crossfire with his teammate, doesn't quite work. 20 seconds, they still have to clear this bomb site and it will do exactly that. Vinny and Roman leaving you jerks in a one versus two. He's found the first one, Vinny trying to creep around now. This is for the series, but he'll be denied. Something that might be unexpected here. Roman's showing first. They've spotted him. Roman can't get this going. He's somehow still alive here. How is he still alive? Finally, he falls, but Muter is waiting. They're not going to clear him. Easy lineup. And there could be one more where that came from. Fallen, baited into shooting. Muter is going he's out towards the site. This is absolutely mental that he's in this position and they're not ready. That's an opener that could cause some chaos here. You can see the focus is towards the ramp though, and Ujerx is going to have to fall back without a frag for it. There's so much time on the clock now. It feels like there's almost 20 seconds left, but it's almost a minute on the clock now. Ujerx causing more problems, dropping the bomb, buying time now as he oh. punishes Jota. And then it was just Vinny, one versus four. So important on this map, and the last four, his squad. Now the last man standing gets his bell rung twice. 16 HP in a dream. But Saw will deny and steal Nuke and the series away after such a hard slog in the first half. They take it all the way back.